I can use PHP to draw uh, graphics. I can open existing graphics and draw on top of them. I can open existing graphics and scale them um, and do various other things. I'm going to start with showing you the basics of how you draw in PHP. So um, I'm in some PHP tags here. This could be on a web page. Um, this could be on its own PHP handling page, but I'm just going to just have the code that's doing um, the task I'm looking to do right now. But the first step is to create um, a canvas to draw on. So this is a, just a variable name. I'm calling it canvas because um, that's what I'm showing you. But this is just like any other variable name. You, you get to choose it. And the, the command to create a canvas is image create true color. And then in parentheses, I have to give it um, the width and the height. And those are both going to be in pixels, but I'm not going to include the units. So let's say I want to make a uh, 300 by 300 little canvas. Now this is 300 wide and 300 pixels tall. Okay. So when I have the canvas, now I have to do what's called allocating some colors. I actually have to sort of think of it as mixing your paints. So you have to mix your paints before you can draw with them. Um, so I'm again going to choose some names for my variables. Um, I'm just going to call them the color names that they represent. So I'm going to make a white. Um, and here's what the command looks like, image, color, allocate. And when you make a color, you have to associate it with an existing canvas. So since my canvas is called canvas right here, that's the first word I'm putting in. Um, and then I have to specify what color I want to use. I can do this as hex codes or I can do it as RGB values. If I write it as hex codes, then I have to put 0x in front of all of them. So this is uh, FF, FF, FF. And so if I were doing this in a style sheet or something, we are representing this color. So it's white. So I just have to separate my digits from my hex code into three pieces and stick a 0x in front of them to get it to work. So that's the first way you can do colors. I'll show you the second way as I make this other color. So let's also make black. Image color allocate. This is canvas. Okay. So if I want to do RGB, then I just use the numbers and I don't need to put anything in front of them. So Black is basically the absence of all colors when we're talking about light. So 0, 0, 0. And now I have a black paint and a white paint. Okay. So what can I do? Well, I can draw some different shapes on the canvas. So um, the first shape that I can draw is a line. So let's do this. The command is image line. Okay. And then it's parameters. You have to tell it where to draw, so what canvas. Um, and then you have to tell it. I'm going to type this out as comment, the upper left uh, coordinate for the upper left corner, um, for the x, the upper left uh, y coordinate, the lower right uh, x coordinate, and the lower right y coordinate, and then the color. Okay, so let's draw this from the top left corner, which would be 0, 0 to the bottom right corner, which for my canvas would be 300, 300. Okay, so it's going to di go diagonally. And I know, because I've done this before, that um, I believe the canvases are by default black, so I'm going to draw my line in white so we can actually see it. Okay. Um, once I've drawn a shape, then I need to say, okay, take this thing that the computer just has in its memory and turn it into an actual um, image file that we can see on a website. So here's what it looks like. There's actually three different ways you can do this. If I want a JPEG, then the command is image JPEG. Notice you have to spell out the JPEG, unlike with the usual um, the file extensions we use. You have to tell it what canvas to use and what you would like the name of the file to be. So let's just call this j.jpg. Okay. I can also make a PNG. So that would be image PNG canvas, oops, comma, p.png. So I get to choose which one of these formats I want. And then if I want a GIF, image, GIF, canvas, uh, g.png. So I could make all three of these, but I really only want one. So you decide, do you want it to be a JPEG PNG? Oops, sorry. 
sorry, I messed this one up, or a GIF, that's up to you. Um, and you'll really only need one of those. And what it does is, is it will literally, in your folder over here, it will suddenly appear, that JPEG will appear, okay? And then, once you've done creating the canvas and you're totally finished with it, you want to free up the computer's memory. And the way to do that is image destroy. And we're not destroying the picture we just saved, but we're destroying the canvas. So it doesn't take up memory anymore, okay? And this line here will put the, the image file over on the left in your folder, but it won't actually show it on the page. So if you want to see it, um, then you need to like show it. So we're just going to echo out an image tag. And I'll be j.jpg, so you can see it on the page. Okay, so let's run this and see if it works. So open. Let's see, this is called demos. Nope, made a mistake. Line 14. What's on line 14? Uh, oop, I see what it is. I switched my quotes. Forgot the last one. All right. Back over here. There we go. So here's my 300 by 300 canvas. I have a line going from 00 to 300, 300. Okay. Just before I, I quit out of this, um, I'm going to show you another shape you can make. You can make a rectangle. So the command for that is image rectangle. And then you need the canvas. And you need the um, upper left hand corner X and Y. So let's go from, let's say, uh, 50, 50. And then you need the uh, lower right hand corner X and Y. So let's go to 200, 200. And then you need the color. So let's do white. I have commented out my line, so that shouldn't draw. Let's go see what this looks like. Okay, so this corner is 50, 50. This corner is 200, 200. Okay. And then there is also an alternative to this guy. Instead of just image rectangle, there's image filled rectangle. And so that will color in the rectangle instead of just outlining it. Okay. And that is the basics of how you draw in PHP.